Hello, and thank you for joining me on Delicious by Debbie. I am getting ready to make my own Bisquick mix. I have some followers that live in other countries and they can't get Bisquick. And I have a recipe that I use to make my own. Um, and I can't believe how the price has gone up on it. It's ridiculous. So I'm gonna make some today. And first of all, I'm gonna need five cups and I'm using an all-purpose flour. So I need five cups and I like to spoon through my flour and not have just a big clump of it. I like to kind of loosen it up a little bit. So five cups. Okay, there's my five cups of all-purpose flour. To that, I want a fourth of a cup of baking powder. I was able to get this nice big can of baking powder at Sam's Club and I only want a fourth of a cup. Okay, a fourth of a cup. I want two tablespoons of sugar. Actually, I'm going to put three in mine. I like a little bit more than I used to put in. So three tablespoons of sugar and a teaspoon of salt. And I'm just going to stir those dry ingredients up. Mix them as well as I can. And now I want a cup of butter or shortening. If you use shortening, you don't have to refrigerate this. I'm using butter because I like that best when I make biscuits and stuff from this. So I will store mine in the refrigerator. But I need a cup of butter, that's two sticks. I already have one cup cut up into chunks. And I'm gonna cut this one up. So now I have a whole cup of butter cut up. Now I could use a pastry blender to mix the flour, the butter into the flour mixture, but I'm gonna use a little food processor I have. I'll have to do it in several batches, but I'm going to put some of the flour into here. And I'm gonna put some of the butter in here and process it this way. And I'll put it all in one big bowl, mix it together so it all gets mixed like it should. That looks good. Okay, and we'll do that again with some more.
mix it till it's nice and fine. And one more time we'll do it. And the rest of this butter. Like I say, you can use shortening and then you wouldn't have to keep it in the refrigerator. But I'm going to keep mine in the refrigerator because it has butter in it or in the freezer. Freezer works too. Okay, and there's my Bisquick mix. I believe I'll probably make some biscuits with this here pretty quick. But this I'll put in a Ziploc bag and I'll, or a container of some kind, put it in the refrigerator, may even put half of it in the freezer because it will keep in the freezer also. But that's a homemade Bisquick for those of you who don't want to buy it there's a lot of things added to the store-bought uh, Bisquick that doesn't really need to be in there. Or you live in a play in a country where they don't have it, it's not available to you. So here's a way that you can make it. Thank you for watching.